Before I start tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I've probably been doing this uh, 35 years now. And early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. <laughs> Kanye's gotten into some scrapes before, normally when he when he's in trouble, I pull up, I pull up immediately. But this time I was like, you know what? Uh, let me see what's gonna happen first. I just wanna see, just wanna see where this is all going. <laughs> I can't even remember how it started. Vaguely, I remember it started with a tweet, strange tweet. It was like, um, I'm feeling a little sleepy. I'm gonna give me some rest, but when I wake up, I'm gonna go DEF CON 3 <laughs> on the tubes. <laughs> and then he just went to bed. <laughs> I was up all night worried. What is he gonna do to the tubes? <laughs> I grew up around Jewish people. I have a lot of Jewish friends. So I'm not freaked out by your culture. I know a little bit about it just from hanging around. I'd be like, yo, yo, let's go out at school tomorrow. They'd be like, we can't go out. It's sha na na tomorrow. I'd be like, what? <laughs> what is sha na na? <laughs> I had so many questions. Why do some of your people dress like Run DMC? <laughs> I'm kind of woke up from that nap. We went right to work. <laughs> A year ago, I'd seen him on a podcast called Drink Champs, well, a great show, uh, and, and it was it was an amazing appearance. Uh, Noriega and them were there, the rappers that I love, and they all had their gold chains and stuff on. And uh, Kanye said, "Only millionaires wear chains." They said, "What?" He said, "I'm a billionaire. Billionaires don't wear their money on their body." I tucked my chain and I said, "Oh snap." <laughs> It was a good appearance. It was fun and funny. But when he woke up, he went on Drink Champs again. This time, he was on one. He was mad about something. He said, I can say anti-Semitic things. And Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Adidas dropped that nigga immediately. <laughs> Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. <laughs> and they were offended. <laughs> I guess the students have passed the teacher. <laughs> it's a big deal. He had broken the show business rules. Is this a rule? You know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and you should never speak about it. <laughs> Nobody listens to me. When I tell these jokes, you ignore me. My first Netflix special, what did I say? I said, I don't want a sneaker deal, because the minute I say something that makes those people mad, they're going to take my sneakers away. And the whole crowd's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and now you see Kanye walking around L.A. barefoot with his chain out. <laughs> This guy lost a billion and a half dollars in a day. A billion and a half dollars in a day. I saw that, I said, put your chain on, nigga, welcome back. <laughs> it shouldn't be this scary to talk about anything. It's making my job incredibly difficult. And to be honest with you, I'm getting sick talking to a crowd like this. 
I love you to death. And I thank you for your support. And I hope they don't take anything away from me. <laughs> Whoever they are. <laughs> <laughs>